What's up everybody? Welcome back to Stingray Biology. My name is Kevin. Thank you for uh, watching my channel. In today's episode, we're going to talk about stingrays changing color according to the background of the tank. Okay. okay, a lot of this stuff is going around on the internet. Um, should you put your stingrays on a light color tank? Should you be putting it in a dark color tank? And uh, how it affects the rays and their color. Okay, now I used to think that it's a myth, right? It's BS that if you put a fish in a lighter background, it will get lighter. If you put a fish in a darker background, it will get darker. And I've played around with it in different situations with different species. And you know what? It does make a difference. Okay, not in all species, but in some, which is why you see a very common practice in Asia, what they call white tank treatments, right? A lot of the people in Asia like to keep their fish in, in a white color tank and blast high intensity lighting to make the fish brighter, make uh, black rays, make their spots whiter, make their spots bigger, okay? But typically, you see that applied to black rays, okay? But, um, I have tanks of all different color bottoms, backs, and whatever. So over time, I've been playing with it and moving fish around, and I have noticed some changes. Okay, first thing that I'm going to show you right now. Now, I have old footage. I just have to find it and dig it up and show you the progression of the changes. Okay, but I'm going to show you this one marble Matoro right here. This guy right here, awesome color, nice light colored, good pattern. Okay. That fish, I will find the footage of when it was younger and it was beautiful and amazing growing up in a light based tank, okay? Then I moved it into a tank with a pond liner and literally over the course of a couple of weeks, it turned completely dark, dark chocolate brown, okay? It turned into something like that. From this, it turned into something like that okay now I'm also gonna find you the footage of these guys okay and these guys when they were also in a lighter tank beautiful beautiful specimens you know I only keep the best to grow out and to breed and then same thing I move these guys into a pond with a black pond liner and they became dark so here's the thing the one here, this guy, I moved him back from the pond liner into this tank, which has a lighter bottom, but it does have a black back. And it took about four months, and slowly I see the color lightening up, lightening up. It wasn't an instant transformation. It just really took a long, long time. You know, maybe it's a water quality combined with the color of the tank, I don't know but it did come back. So I will show you the before, the after, then the after, meaning light to dark, back to light. So this is the same ray after I moved it back from the pond liner. As you can see, it's much, much darker. And here, over time, you see it's getting lighter and lighter. So the light color tank is making a difference. And over the course of months, I took updated photos and you can see it's continually improving. It's just really amazing the transformation, how it went from a really dark brown and also it got its nice bright orange and contrast back. So now we're back to its original beauty. So I've been waiting for these guys. Now since I saw that happen, I moved these guys into this tank too to try to get them to lighten up. But so far, they haven't yet. One guy has. One guy's starting to, and that's this guy here. You see it's much lighter. The color's coming back, right? But these guys, not yet. Not yet. All right. So in the previous episode, I moved some rays, right? They were in the white basket. Let me show you. They were in the basket like this, right? Showing really nice pattern, really light colored. What, ha what has happened? I've dropped them into the main tank, which is a dark pond liner. You see? So we're gonna make note of what they look like right now and let's see how they turn. Look at that, you see, they're so bright. So bright, okay. 
Now, I've had, I had previously, I had previously dropped two guys in here months ago, okay? And they were light like that, but let me show you now what they look like. He's in that back corner. You see, it's so dark, you can't see it. Okay, here's another one. Let me go slowly so I don't spook him. He's down there. You see it? He's real, okay, here he, coming out into the light. See, much darker. But you know what? They are siblings. They are siblings to the other ones that I put down there. See, so it used to be light like that, and then it became like that. But at least I have proven that once I put it back into a lighter tank, the color does come back, right? So it's important to know that they can go back and forth. Um, but I think not in all cases though. Um, let me show you something else. Uh, really interesting. Okay, these guys. These guys here. These P14 hybrids. They used to have bright, bright, big, solid white spots. Okay, and again, I grew them up in a light-based tank, grew them up all the way to maturity. They were even breeders already. They had produced many, many batches of pups for me. And then I decided, you know what? The tank I had them in was a little bit too small. Let me get them out into a bigger tank. And again, I moved them out into one of these tanks with the black pond liner. Well, actually, it used to be in this tank. And it used to be a black pond liner. But since then, I've changed it to this blue. But once I put them in there, their spots completely changed. From solid to being broken up and um, donuts or rings or, or whatnot. And the interesting thing was that change literally happened within a week to 10 days. And that was really fast. Usually changes like that happen slowly over time. They start to open up really slow, but I can literally see it. Within a week, it went from a solid spot to broken up spots like this. Or if not broken, then rings and, 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 and multiple little spots. Here's what they look like before I put them into the black tank with the pond liner. As you can see, look at beautiful, bright, white, nice round spots, nothing broken. I couldn't believe it. It happened right before my eyes and I said, oh, no, 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 no. These are such beautiful fish. I didn't want the spots to break up. And I brought them back into this tank, which is a lighter color tank. But you know what? I think in this situation, once the spots break, they can't come back. And I still don't understand how it happened, you know, just from the change of the background. Do they really have some type of camouflage capability where because I moved them into the dark tank, now they want to blend. So the white starts breaking up and becoming black. But I don't see how it can come back and become solid spot again. So certain rays, I think they change differently according to their backgrounds. I definitely think with the marbled Matoros, they can come back because I've seen it. And, and also I've seen many times in wild marbled Matoros when they come in all dark, but given the right tank, the right water, they do come back and show really beautiful pattern. Okay? So um, I hope you guys have learned something. So depending on what you want to achieve, what kind of look you want to achieve from your fish, the tank background does make a difference okay so keep that in mind when when you're getting your stingrays and what you're putting into it because they will change all right um so that being said thank you guys for watching i hope you guys learned from this episode i definitely learned so that's why like i pick and choose what color tanks i want to keep my fish in and so forth but in some cases when it's the breeders i really don't care because it's about producing the offspring as long as they're in the best possible tank all right so i think i'm just rambling now and i've said too much so see you guys next time peace